Welcome back, I'm Dr. Ruckus, and today we are playing 5 Color Jota Aggro in Ranked Brothers War Standard. We've got two new cards from Brothers War in here. Number one, Hajar Loyal Bodyguard, a 2 mana 3 3 legendary creature. You can sack it and give all legendary creatures you control plus 1 plus 0 and indestructible until end of turn. This is pretty sweet in the deck, number one, because if you slam Jota and normally it would get picked off immediately by removal, you can now sack the bodyguard and protect it, as well as all your other creatures, which grants you immunity against sweepers, and since this is a 100% creature deck, that is quite valuable. But Probably even better is the addition of Gwenna, Eyes of Gaia, a 3-mana 2-3 legendary creature, Elf Druid Scout. Note she is not a human. She has she does have the ability to tap, add 2 mana in any combination of colors, spend this mana only to cast creature spells or activate abilities of creature cards. Whenever you cast a creature spell with power 5 or greater, greater including uh, Jota, put a plus 1 plus 1 counter on Gwenna and untap it. Pretty sweet. This means you don't even have to hit your fourth land drop anymore. If you can slam Gwenna on three, you can then just go ahead and play Jota right on four without the extra mana. Because Jota has five power, you then untap Gwenna. She gets the plus X plus bonus from Jota, and then you can swing with your mana dork that very same turn. That's quite effective. And then maybe even better than that is that it allows you to play a more consistent mana base. You don't have to run um all five colors in the mana base you note that we're strictly naya here i think in the past i might have gone more of a white green blue mana base for the most part there are some good um blue colored legendary creatures but with the addition of hajar we're, go we're throwing in red in the two drop slot so we're going naya base but you do still have plaza of heroes slakuta courtyard and throne portal which can make any mana of any color for the most part to get to your jota on time that's the deck enjoy the gameplay let's dive right in when it goes first we got a nice curve here Tap land. Human it is. And we go Hajar or Katilda on two. Harvester. Well, I mean, Dahlia is also pretty annoying. Dahlia dies to the Harvester. Hajar doesn't. Maybe that's enough reason. Pick off Katilda this turn. We might want Katilda to stick around. Let's just try Hajar here. Who attacks? We would love for Thalia to stick around. It's pretty obnoxious for them to deal with. Anvil time. Alright, let's go. They voltage surge the bodyguard. Alright. So Harvester sticks around. We're left with a 1-2. They get in for free with the Harvester. No blocks. We hit more land here. We could go Katilda plus Thalia this turn. It's not bad. Then go Halana and Elena next turn. We don't need green. Let's see, if we play you out on blue, for example, we have to use both these to cast Katilda, and then we can still um, cast Thalia. So I think that's fine. We'll go blue here, and Katilda first. And Thalia second. And we'll see if they have more removal. But if not, it's a pretty good blocker against them. They have a blood token as well. Then that um, also lets the Harvester pick off Thalia for free. It's an epic here. So that gives them the blood token to pick off Thalia if they want to. Yep, there it goes. Okay. And they attack with the 1-1. And we don't block and they sack it after combat. Mishra's Research. Okay. Another artifact to sack. They sack it now manually. What is this, until the end of next turn? At the end of your next turn to get a backup anvil. No blocks, take one. All the way down to 12. More land. It's probably Halana and Elena time. I guess we can manual tap, right? We should manual tap. Put it on the Katilda and attack with both. I think that's pretty good. Okay, put the counters here. I think we're swinging with both. As soon as next turn, we could use the Hopeful Initiate to start picking off the Anvils. Not sure if that's the best use of our mana yet, but it is an option. Eat the damage. We're left back with a 2-3 First Striker. Here comes backup Anvil. And the Drain hits harder every turn now. And another Epicure. Yeah, it's going to be tough to survive from 10. Okay. 
take our free block. They sack it in response. Get the damage anyway. So how much mana do we have here? We have a lot of counters to work with. We could pick off both anvils. So if we just attack with the Katilda, that could be enough. I think that might be worth it. Okay. So we're going to put more counters here. And we attack with just the Katilda. We don't have to attack with anything. Actually. We could just sit back. That's actually fine. Pick off you. Okay, they sack the anvil in response, of course. And we we'll go ahead and do this. Pick off the next one. Auto tapper wants to do it that way. I think I'd rather take the life. Yeah, that's fine with me. Okay, so both anvils are down. We end here. They can attack with everything. Get in for three. We drop to three. Fable. Okay. Let's see how aggressive they are. They go for it. I don't blame them. Take our free blocks. Hmm. Does it matter where? I mean... Not sure it matters too much. I mean, in theory, we want to block the artifacts. Except they have another anvil. They can't sack the artifact in response. They can copy the epicures, but... I don't know. Down to three? We hit Joda. <laughs> we can't win on the spot, right? No, I don't think so. I don't think so. Attacking with Vigilance is pretty good, though. I'll give you haste for sure. You're definitely getting in there. We don't have to attack with anyone else. Could leave everyone else back. Attacking with the Initiate um, lets us block and then pick off another artifact. So this is kind of a free attack here. We use the last three mana that way. Okay. Free block there. Down to eight. They get a nice draw discard here. Oh, they do nothing? They like that last card? Uh-oh. No! <laughs> I don't like that. Okay. Cool. So we want to take this block, we want to take this block, we want to take this block. Do we not have enough mana to, um, and I think we wanted to do this as well, right? Yeah. We could destroy the Fable, then they can't copy things, but there's nothing left to copy at this point. I think we're just trying not to die. And we can take counters, uh, you're not even attacking, right? Just go here and here. Interesting. Can we win from this position? We take the draw, drop to one. Yeah. Can we play out Jota without uh, dying? It doesn't matter. I don't think we can play it without dying. I guess we have lethal anyway. What's that? Four, five, six, seven? Eight? We had lethal, yeah. With the, with the one on the Adeline token, we did have lethal there. Whew. Close one. Decent mana with the curve. Try it out. Potentially soldiers start here on humans and give them the old turn one initiate. Hail old as time. Opponent with a sweet name. Hi, yeah. Ooh, they're actually control. Okay, not sure we need to get tilted this turn. Maybe we just drop a jar instead. Allows us to attack with both next turn and uh, attacks get even better with King Darien. Restoration of a Ganjo. Okay. 
Well, they could just be reanimation here. Let's see if they're playing a Ganjo for the pseudo ramp um, slash discard effect. Cool. Um, yeah, we'll play the Thrawn portal out now. And we're good on mana, so we can play you on blue or black. Okay. Here comes King Darien. And we got some nice attacks here. Take both chumps. We'll see if they just go land sweeper. We at least get a draw because we have multicolored creatures, but who knows? Okay, think carefully about those blocks. Okay, let's see that discard. Ah, it's not a portal to Phyrexia. So this could be generic Esper control, looks like, or just Azoria's control with some cycling built in. So is it sweeper time? It's not sweeper time, so instead it's wandering emperor time. Okay. Uh, we can manual tap to put down the initiate as well this turn. Not sure we're really playing around this. I think we just send everyone in there. They flash in the emperor now, which means we get to target it with the Adeline attacker, which I think was probably a mistake on their part. And the exile you, because they really don't want you to deal with the um, Aganjo. But now we get to take you out. So potentially a mistake there. And they didn't sweep the board last turn. So I'm going to continue to press here. I'm going to gamble that they do not have the sweeper. Faithful Absence. Uh, we can make you indestructible. Yeah, I'm down for that. Double Faithful Absence. What about you? <laughs> Creature tokens get Hexproof and Indestructible. All right. Adeline's down. So we need one more counter to pick off the Architect with the Hopeful Initiate. How do we get one more counter? Tilda can eventually put counters on people. but not this turn. So we can play out Gwenna instead, I suppose. Take the draw on their turn. Could hit land here. Don't think it matters. Okay. No attacks end here. And maybe next turn we can pay to put a plus one counter on everyone. For six. And then if we hit land, we could have three mana total to use the initiates effect to pick off the architect. Bankbuster. Even if we pick off the Architect, they can still crew the Bankbuster, which does slow down our attacks anyway. Okay, we'll take this draw. Do we have to auto-pay? Yeah, we do. Land. So I think that lets us um, conduct our strategy here. Uh, not quite. We'd have to attack as well. Yeah, we don't have enough mana to do everything. We can still attack with Gwenna, though. And that makes you a 4-5. So you can get in there as well. Okay, they get their blocker out of the deal. And we attempt to put a counter on all creatures we control. That was loud. Thank you, wizards. Okay, potentially missed the effect. Not 100% sure. I actually often forget about this secondary effect when I'm on the other side. But we'll see. They take the draw, and maybe they just sweep the board. Maybe it's farewell time. Nope, it's revelry instead. So definitely giving us a chance here. Backup initiate is fine. Play out the land. And we'll go ahead and swing all here. If they power up the bank buster, then um, we can use the hopeful initiate in response after the fact. Nope, they go chump, chump, chump. We don't have enough mana to use Katilda, so we're just swinging in here with everyone. I'm going to drop the 10. They haven't swept the board yet. I don't know if the backup initiate helps or not. I think if they sweep, we lose anyway. So maybe we play this out. 
Like, if we had a good enough reload that even if they swept the board, we use them in response here. Yeah, we'll go ahead and pick you off now. I think that's fine. One here is fine. One here is fine. No way to stop them from getting the draw. Anyway, if we could reload effectively, maybe we wouldn't deploy anything else into the potential sweeper. But I think if they sweep the board with our hand, we just lose anyway. Okay, game goes on. Keep playing out land here. And we have enough mana to use Katilda this turn. So we send the squad in there. They flash in the next Emperor. The Exiled Darien. Creature token tax proven indestructible. Probably not worth it. This is what you get for hurting my people. Do we not have enough mana to Katilda? Let's see. Oh, we have to tap Katilda, my bad. Okay. Alright. Cycle the to tower. Minus the samurai. Potentially have one more. Joda's pretty good. Let's see if I have a counter spell in there. Uh, let's see. It wants to do some awkward taps. We need to tap one creature. This is the one I want to tap, though, because it untaps anyway. So I'm happy with that. And it is, in fact, a counter spell. Okay. Well, they put him back in the deck, but our board presence is still significant. But, like, four wandering emperors there. All right. I'm just going to attack all here. Well... At least you guys can get in here. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five. I think we just do it like this. They block here. We still don't have lethal presented. It's fine. Chump it is. All right. Down to five. See that last card. Silver Scrutiny, draw three, four mana open. They dig for the sweeper. They still have double white open. They could still sweep the board right here. Make a blocker, go up two life. We hit back up Jota though. It's a lot of damage. Try again. No mana for devious cover up. Land successfully. And I think we're just attacking all. Oh, right. <laughs> Pretty fortunate they didn't have sweepers there, but I will take the W. Okay, we have the curve here. Initiate Hajar Gwena right into Joda, in theory. Gwena on Azorius soldiers, though. Land out the Sentinel. Actually, protection from multi multicolored. Gonna come in relevant here. Uh, we have the green, even if we play out on human, so I'm okay with that. Uh... Whenever a non-basic land enters a battlefield under opponent's control, you gain one life. Well, they're going to gain some life this game. Veteran. 2-3. Okay. I want to do things on the play. Yeah, we can play you out. I want to get more life. We drop a 2-mana 3-3. See if that's enough to hold them off or not. They go right into Cathar. Nope, it's you. Okay. Didn't mean to auto pass there. Well. I don't think we attack with the jar. I think we just wait till Joda. Give it one more turn. Eat four in the air. All right, let's see it. Siege veteran. Probably on the flyer. Swing for five in the air, I suspect. They put it there. Okay. Swing in the air for four. We have no reach creatures, so we'll just take four. Down to 14. But we get to Joda. Yeah, they get to life. We get to Joda. Okay, we have some big creatures. 
I think we make him block. Especially because we have backup bodyguard anyway. Everyone except for the 2-3. I think this is fine. They eat 12 here. And that's all we got. See if they can use removal and push for lethal or close this game. Close this turn. Fourth land. They have another soldier. Doesn't have haste. But next turn they get to turn on the Harbin. Counter goes on you. Swing in for five more in the air. Okay. Land's not what I wanted to see. If we attack with the initiate, we could use mana to pick off the sentinel. And then play what? Backup Hajar after combat? Play Hajar before combat. What do we get? Lesser mana value. It's not super helpful. I think we attack here first. Question is, do we throw the initiate in there to pick off the sentinel as well? I think that's fine. Go ahead and destroy you. Okay. Ah, they get another blocker anyway. That's too bad. If I had thought that through, I would not have made that move. Free trade there. Are they free eaten up? Chump there. Chump there. Okay. You get the draw. They get a creature, so they swing with uh, five soldiers, right? Yeah, too bad. Actually, I guess not yet. Human still's fine. Okay, we have a blocker back. Can they get us from here? Sentinel, but again, they don't have enough attacking creatures. Denic as well. We'd love some trample. Okay, I think they have us here. Don't think we can get through next turn. See if they swing for seven. Okay, and that's lethal. Not a bad opening hand. We can cast everything off the bat. Pona on mono blue. Okay, well, we would love for a Thalia to stick. We'll see if we get so lucky this coming turn. Maybe a turn one consider here. There it is. So they hold two mana open. Are we trying to drop Thalia anyway? The answer is maybe. You know? You can also drop Hajar instead. If they do not have the counter spell, Dali is fantastic. If they do have the counter spell. Are they even going to counter Hajar? We'll try Hajar. See if we can drop Th Thalia on turn four. We go Squee next turn. Impulse instead. So we don't even know if they had it. Maybe we should have gone Thalia. I don't know. No, I still think we made the right decision. If we can get Thalia to stick, it is pretty annoying. Okay, 3-3 three is online. Okay, ah, well, Joda's there, which means we can play you out on uh, blue or black, and should be fine. Squee, I suppose, if they're going to counter someone, we'll have him counter this one. At least could come back later. Yep, that's fine. Alright, swing for three. One bodyguard going the distance. And they fading hope you. Okay. One to the top, not good. Is it gin time? It's not. It's do nothing time. Well, now is our chance to attempt a Thalia. Try to get under make disappear. This is our best and only shot to do it, so here it comes. I think Auto Tapper might have screwed us a little bit there. Could have also played the Hajar, but they have the Essence Scatter anyway. And there is stick here, so they also have Impulse. 
or another consider. Impulse it is. Yeah, if we had done manual taps on both the battle forges, let's see. No, battle forge plus Thrawn portal for Thalia. Then the other two could have been used to cast Hajar that turn. No terror and no um. Probably go for a three drop this turn. So is there a way to also cast a jar here? I think so. We should have to force use that. And we still have a jar open. Essence scatter again. Well, they are running out of fodder a little bit. There's a chance we can slam Joda and get it to stick. Take the turn to thirst. Yep, drop off spell pierce and negate. Okay. We're getting close to a squeak cast back. Pay four and exile four other cards from your graveyard. And here comes the terror. So the 5-5 five five is assembled. We could drop Halana and Elena to the first counter spell and Joda into the second counter spell. This also allows us to deploy the hopeful initiate this turn. Okay. We'll try it. That one sticks. Okay. Will you let me put the counters here? They're thinking about something. I'm happy to trade. They eat the damage. And we probably pay one for you. They're not going to flash in an attacker. We're almost down to a two-turn clock from the Terror. But 11 is different from 10. They take the draw. Nothing else with that three mana. They choose not to counter Halana Lena, or they just didn't have the counter, which is more likely. They thirst. Okay, they are digging for resources. They attack for five. I think we're fine to chump block with an initiate here. Attack on the crackback and um, drop Joda after combat if they tap out. They could have March of Swirling Mist. They might be trying to just get to victory quickly. Uh, they hit the next land drop. That's too bad. Well, we have three other creatures down there. I think we go for Adeline here. There's Stick, of course. They counter you. We're happy to pay for it. Auto pay's fine. Put the counter here. They have Fading Hope as well. Pretty weird. I think we attack all. They can't threaten lethal because they don't have haste. It's not like they can drop a terror and just attack. And we get there against mono blue. That always feels good. 